Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Hearts of Iron 4, Old World Blues, playing as Vault City last time. We went to war with the White Legs to take some territory away from these guys, and let us resume. So, a uh, comment from yesterday, why am I not training some soldiers? Well, for some reason I thought they weren't, that if I trained these soldiers, then their autonomy would get a little lower or something like that, so, or the puppet's autonomy would r go up if I was training these guys. Um, we just want to finish off the White Legs. I'll be honest here, I tried this earlier. But, uh, this is my take two. Take two for this, just because, for some reason, my divisions were being very stupid. Being incredibly stupid, so. And there we go, white legs. So, someone did leave a comment yesterday saying, Hey, there's Vault 24. You should take Vault 24, because since we're Vault City, we want all the vaults, right? Well, that'd be nice, but apparently, I'll show you why that's cool, but we can't really do much with it. So we're going to take all these small little territories. That'd be good, good, good. Good, good, good. I'll give them, actually, because we're about 50%-ish for war support. We'll do something like that. There you go. Oh. And, because we're quite literally like 50% for both of us. So that'll be good. And then I just take all the rest. Cool. And we also get Area 51. So, even though there's Vault 24, it doesn't do much. Since it's not really a part of this. There's no Vault 24 for Vault Tech Calling, which doesn't make any sense as it's... Since Vault 24 is actually pretty close to Vault City. It's not that far away, you know. But there's nothing here for Vault 24, which doesn't make any sense. So, right now, I know what's going to happen. The Mormons are going to go to war with me. Because I, they have some territory that I have. Cool. You guys are going to stop training. And be prepared be ready for war because I took Vault 24 and I think the Mormons really like it or really want it so that'll be good to keep in mind hmm what are my planes come on planes 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 where'd I put you you're not doing anything what the heck whatever that's fine Southwest Utah that's okay you're really not doing anything holy cow Right, another uh, light robot, that is fine. Let's see, stockpile stuff looking okay. Doggos, we might need a few more doggos. Doggerinos, there you go. Yeah, and there goes the Canadian Demand Territory. We shall deal with this. Yes, we will. Right now, we could use some more military factories. Battle Mountain looks pretty awesome. And then we'll throw on some more of this as well. Ooh, that looks pretty good as well. Very good, very good, very good. Get ready for a war because New Canaan demands territory. That was a bunch of sons of guns. So our guys are down here. And at this point, I'm just going to probably just push as hard as I can into New Canaan as fast as possible. we got dive bombing, which is awesome. It is 2279, my friends. That's a little bit too ahead of time for me. That is a little bit too ahead of time. A little bit too ahead of time. We need more resources. We're going to grab this. Electrical extraction. Very good, very good, very good. Oh, this is not good for supply, though. Huh, Vault 24, where are ya? There you are. Make sure we got enough stuff up here. Make sure enough resources, because we should be suffering from too many dif difficulties up here. Uh, let's see, we're going to get quality service soon. I could raise my conscription or do more stuff with this, but it's it's okay. I really want to core stuff, though. I really want to start coring stuff. Ooh, Captain Cypher is done. Awesome. You guys spy on New Canaan because they're a bunch of jerks. And, uh, yeah. Keep doing New Reno. Might as well. Awesome. We really don't have that many factories, to be honest with you. Broken Coast goes to war. I could reduce my conscription, but that'd be stupid. Yeah, I'm really disappointed that we can't do vault -tech calling for Vault 24. That really isn't cool. Whatever. Um, oh, wait, hold on. Slave Black Market. I forgot about this. We could buy more slaves. Oh, we got plenty of bottle caps. Hmm. Sure. Ah, Vault City loves our indentured servants. They're not slaves, they're just indentured servants. The art of haggling. Has any nation make a purchase with caps? Ah, oh, I love caps. Alright, guys, I don't know what's wrong with you guys. Where are you? Ah, eh, just a little bit of supply issues, that's all. Give us, like, two, then. There you go. Should be okay. Cool, let him go to war with us. Do they have any anti-tank on their guys? They have demos, which, honestly, demo companies aren't that good anymore. 
they really aren't that bueno. Oh, resistance is going up. Do I have enough doggos? We're running out of doggos, which isn't ideal. Indian Peak Garrison. Let's keep an eye on this. So we have Sporadic Outpost for Eastport, which is good. Wasteland Pacification, which is... We're almost there. Ooh, Rappel Territory. Let's switch to Sporadic Outpost. We need less stuff to garrison the area. Not Precision Motors. Very good. Uh, Sultrons. That sounds like, sounds like fun. We don't really need to do that yet. That'll be okay. Hmm... Better doggos. Oh, I wasted a day, whatever. It really doesn't matter too much. Oh, let's get some advanced tools. Get another division, great. Alright, New Canaan, are you going to go to war with me? Oh, they probably have the war goal against us. Yes, they do. I'm going to assume they're going to go to war with us relatively soon. Ooh, more robots. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, people, do you have anything for us? Ah, so quality of service. The workforce that we have been recruiting for decades has by and large been desperate souls. Anyone willing to sign those papers and make that deal? Now, however, we find ourselves overwhelmed with applications and in a unique position to demand only skilled laborers. It would reduce the size of our workforce, but it would only would make the men and women within Vault City much happier. Skilled servants. Unskilled servants. I don't like debuffs, so we get 5% construction speed, which is pretty good. I want to core more territory. I'm going to spend less time on focuses, but first, let's do the service hours. We've been overworking our servants for decades now, notably our physical laborers who do tasks far away from the city proper, working as scavengers and resource gatherers. Work, oh, there goes the apostles. Working them as hard as we do has allowed us to thrive, but discontent among workers is running high. Do we reduce work hours? That's a very good question. And please, come on, New Canaan, give it to me. Come on. Long range radio. Oh, reinforcement goes up. Nice, let's get some more decryption then. More divisions? Yes. Yes, please. I will convert some of these guys to bigger robots eventually, too. I want to make sure we have enough robots here, though. Damn equipment's good. Doggos are doing pretty good. We're doing pretty well overall. We just need a bigger industry. We really just need a bigger industry at all. Let's need more factories, need more stuff like that. You know, good stuff like that. Alright, New Caden. You know what? If you're not going to go to war with me, I'm going to justify on you. 80 days. It's only 16 political power. And I really want a core oasis. It takes 226 political power, which is, eh, quite a bit. We get about 1.31 a day, which is not bad. Constantly improving our army, which is awesome. I do want to go to war with New Reno eventually. That's, I think, pretty important, because they, they're pretty strong, actually. Some of their guys, like their infantry, they have anti-tank, which is basically killer for us, so. Ah, happy 2280, my friends. Happy 2280. Look at that manpower. That's beautiful. We're still mobilizing just a little bit, which is awesome. Infantry equipment? We don't really need it. Hmm. I can sell outdated equipment. Yeah, might as well do that. Make them give us a better opinion of them. Side channel attack. Very good. Tw 40 days for more encryption. That'd be awesome. More divisions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Rapid prototyping. Awesome. Let's grab some more monthly population with industrial fertilizer. Alright, New Canaan, you're really disappointing. I was hoping that you go to war with me immediately. But I guess not. Wait, who's that? Five. Brigham Barons. Ooh. They have a thousand manpower. They have 38 divisions. Armor hardening. We have 60 days left. Armor hardening. That's good. Oh, yeah. Let's get some of this. That'd be good. More electricity for us. More energy cells. Yeah. Su supply is not great. Platoon to training. More organization. Good, good, good. Uh, basic drills. You know what? That's okay. That's okay. It's, I want to make more... Ooh. Uh, divisions make them 40 combat width, but uh, right now, okay. So we have 24 here. Um, any other Securitron, Robo Security, uh, big boys we have, you know, our big boys for now. I'm just gonna have them train. I think that'd be for the best. You know what? If you're not doing anything, uh, actually, you're kind of okay. I'm gonna leave them there for now. They're actually doing okay. I'm really just disappointed though, these guys aren't attacking us yet. I don't expect a lot of major success down here, maybe a little bit. Eh, they're not that many divisions. I don't expect my my puppets division to do that great. Oh, there's a hole right here. I forgot about that. Oh, but we have servant worker hours. You just give me two robots. Great. So our servants are more than overworked. Eh, they're being worked to death, which is, you know, replaceable. They're replaceable. Their life expectancy is at an all-time low, the opposite of what they asked for when they applied for servanthood. This abuse was once overlooked, but these days, anyone can see at a glance that, they're, that we're abusing the hopes and dreams of Wastelanders. A simple change in policy could reduce the concerns of so many of these people, but then again... What's the opinion of a few Wastelanders really worth? Working shifts, more resource efficiency gain, which is great, and more stability. 
or lose stability and more resource efficiency gain. <clears throat> I really want to do work till you drop. Uh, but I, 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 we already have enough stability, though. But it's only 5% extra on top of 5%, so... You know what? We will be a benevolent master. And right now, I'm going to... I could do service for citizenship. I'm going to wait on that. I want to get as much political power first, because I just want a core territory. Even if it's not really worth it. Just any resistance. I hate resistance so much now. Oh, you guys. Good. Come down to sporadic outposts. We need less divisions to do that then. And we need less divisions for this. That was really fast for these guys. Nice. Awesome. Doggos are looking great. 6,000 manpower. Great. Alright, come on, New Canaan. Seriously. Seriously. Ah, uh, you're going to make me the aggressor, aren't you? Disappointing. Electrical extraction. More resource efficiency gain. Great, great, great. We're going to grab brick housing for more energy cell capacity, I guess. That'd be okay. You know, be okay. We're making more factories. I love it. That's awesome. Post Pulse code modifications. We can grab digital data links for a little bit more research speed and reinforce rate. We can almost score the next piece of territory. That's great. And Geros de Andres joined the jungle pack. That's interesting. Yeah, 12,000 guys. Let's see how much manpower we actually get. Not really sure. Oh, good, 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 good. Uh, very nice. And any of the guys now that we get from puppets, we're going to core. Or we'll make them train. So we have 6.22. Now we have 6.88. So we got about 600 more guys. Is that worth it? Eh, I really want to core Wendover, though. But at least we have zero resistance here. Because these guys still have 10%. And it is going up. It's going up a little bit more, which isn't great. And we were using resistance, or spies, to do less resistance up here. And Antelope City really wants to be free. Which I really don't like. If they become free, I'm just going to kick them out and annex them. That's pretty much my goal there. Mm. Oh, we got a good, a great batch of extra combat robots in surplus. That's awesome. Screw you guys. I've been waiting for you to go to war with, for you guys to go to war with me. I'm tired of waiting, to be honest with you. Do they attack me immediately? In some locations, yes. But in some locations, we're just going to pierce them all to hell and back. Ah, oh, I love it. Uh, more population, more max factories in a state. I think so. Yes, please. Okay, just go ahead. We got plenty of surplus robots in reserve. They can attack us as much as they want. If I lose a couple things down here, it doesn't matter. They're just puppet divisions, you know. It's like our slaves. You know, we'll treat the slaves okay for a while, but, you know, if they drop dead, you know, they drop dead. You know, whatever. Go and start training those guys. We got plenty of stuff. Oh, never mind. Oh, God. Dang it. You know what? Don't train these guys. I need you guys over here. I always forget about that. There's never a frontline tab over there. Really disappointing. Good, good, good. You know what? Take these guys out that way. Just throw everyone here. Uh, we could probably have enough political power to do this. Dweller Douglas. He's got some P. He's perceptive. He's charismatic. He's intelligent. And he's a tech wizard. What more could you want? Let's see. Not really sure what he's going to do. He could do infantry or combat robots. Well, most of the guys will be doing combat robots, so let's do that. That'd be fine. That'd be more than fine. I expect these guys to do pretty darn well. How many casualties? We've suffered 200 casualties. Wow, that's a lot. I mean, they suffered 1,000. 1,100. Oh, we do have new Hammond. And we cut these guys off. Great. Industrial fertilizer. Awesome. Pre-war tools. Great. We'll get more construction after this, too. I'm going to assume some of our losses are from our puppets, perhaps, maybe. That's why I'm only having my robots really attack. More divisions? Great. Throw them in here. Uh, oh, you know what? I'll call in New Hammond. There we go. Wartime administration. I'm assuming that my puppets are going to become free someday, so just give me the... Don't. I don't want to lose political power, so... Whatever. Rebuilding the wasteland. That means own a state with maximum infrastructure. Great. That sounds like we've just built more stuff. Uh, more military factories, then. More in Battle Mountain. Great. I really need to focus on more building myself up. But we also could use some more power stations, too. That'd be great. Yeah. Yeah, we really don't have that many factories. We are a massive nation, pretty much, but we don't have that many factories. It is what it is, of course. Go ahead and put these guys out of their misery. I'll take these guys out. Good, you guys. Security Chief Wallace, you're doing... Well, to be frank with you, you didn't know about this, but a lot better than what happened when I tried this for the first time. 
Uh, oh, we have three puppets. I forgot we have three puppets. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, construction stuff. Good. Cement and concrete. Build, build, build. Go ahead and do that. That's fine. We have New Jerusalem. Great. How much would it take for us to core a window? Oh my god, 300? Yeah, I mean, we could, you know, do more focuses, but we get more political power, a few more blueprints. Other than that, it's not much. Oh, we're at war with these guys? No. That's good. You guys might be able to do okay yourselves. Follow New Canaan. The city of refuge is in our hands at last. This is going to hurt my ability to squash resistance. I can already tell. We are going to need a lot of doggos. Ah, the Provo. You know what? Help them out down here. I don't want you to move. Move. We got plenty of divisions up there. Take Coolville. A oh, Colville, not Coolville. Colville. Randolph or Brigham. Great. No more of this stuff. Sell some outdated equipment. Have a good time. Train a couple guys here and there. Kill off their divisions. And New Canaan has fallen. What a shame. What a shame. I gave them enough territory and they still said no. Glorious, glorious, glorious. And we have another division to start the training. Awesome. Cool. So, you know what? Actually, I'm going to pull out the puppet divisions here. Because actually, I would probably prefer you to be on the front line here with this guy. There you go. We're going to need to increase our infrastructure levels here. They have a lot of divisions down here. That's really not good for us. Puppets, your regular robots, throw you right there. Get a new guy named... Dweller Arthur, he's lucky. Ah, I like the luck. He's agile, he's perceptive, and he's a tech wizard. What more could you ask for? I don't know. No idea. Gunslinger. Ooh, more attack. Let's go with that. Cool. Awesome. That's actually really good. So, our goal... Wow, 15... We can put 1,500 planes in Antelope Reservation. Holy cow, that's a lot. I only have 50. You know what? Go up to 50 as well. Two plans, because we're going to need these guys. Going to war with these guys. Um, Yeah. You know what? Unfortunately, though, I will be right back in just a moment. My apologies, and see you in just a little bit. Alright, guys. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to leave or have a little interruption, but you know what? Sometimes it just happens. So, right now, we have no manpower. We literally went from five over 5,000 manpower to two guys. In reserve, which isn't really ideal. And we need about 600 doggos, which is very not cool. But we can do this because we have a lot of support robots. Uh, any more doggos? Do that. Do that. That'll be okay. I feel like we have got enough robots for now. We can make a lot of protectons pretty quickly. Seven a day is really awesome. But, yeah, we got stuff to do. So, we're Vault City. And... This is going to take a lot to garrison, not going to lie. It's going to take a lot to garrison. And we need manpower right now. Let's see, Rifle Tertiary. I need to release somebody. The Timekeepers, if I release the Timekeepers, they get Vault 24 back. I don't like that. I really don't. I could release the White Legs. I really don't either. I really don't want to. The Tar Walkers, though. I don't mind releasing the Tar Walkers. I think that'd be okay. I think that should be okay, since we don't have enough. That's a lot of divisions. That's a lot of manpower. Actually, can I record? West manpower for my puppets. Actually, your team depends. Oh, they don't let me. Doesn't? Oh, they don't have enough manpower. That's why. I need Corson with a lot of manpower. Yeah, I didn't think Antelope City would have it either. But let's go ahead and release the Tar Walkers just because this is taking too much resources up for me, which is fine. You know, whatever. Hey, Tar Walkers, welcome back. Welcome back, and you have nothing I really want from you, and I don't have to deal with that. So. Like I said, we're out of dogs, which isn't good. That's okay, that's okay. Sky Rears are already at 100%. That's awesome. Sporadic Outpost here, that's fine. New Canaan, we definitely need Wasteland Pacification. Let's go ahead and raise our conscription. Oh, we don't. Look at look at all the manpower we got back from trying to garrison these areas. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. And that was just from the Tar Walkers. That isn't even all just, you know, from White Leg territory, New Canaan territory. That's insane. I was going to say I was going to raise my conscription level, but... I think we should be okay if we don't raise it for now. I still want to core more stuff. Yeah, just do it anyways. Funny militias, we'll do it anyways. Who cares? So what do we need? We need dogs. We need tons of doggos. Oh, and we do have our spy here who can do defensive stuff. We can, you know, figure out what's going on in Reno, which we want to kill off. 
But let's go ahead and root out some more resistance first. 49%, that's... That's not bueno. This needs more resistance stuff up here. Garrison's... Uh, it's hard to see, kind of, honestly. 48%, 30%. Uh, just do that. That'd be fine. Make sure resistance does not get too high. We're going to get as much political power now as possible. We're going to start training more of our soldiers, because that is always a good thing to do. Get more army XP. So we can make our soldiers 50. 35 combat width, not 50. I wish we could make our soldiers 50 combat width. I wish we could make our robot divisions 40 combat width, but the devs said no. Oh well. And also, I did, since I left, I did make a cup of coffee, so that's pretty nice. But the problem with New Reno, they have a lot of divisions. Holy crap. Crud. And they have anti tank, which is like the one thing we don't want anyone to get. We got 2,000 manpower in reserve. That's not bad. We do have 140 factories. That's pretty good. They have 104 divisions. And these templates, they have anti-tank on the support companies, which means they can just pierce my guys, which ain't very good for us. That really ain't very good. Let's throw up these guys, throw them right there. Just start grinding all this army XP. And I'm, I just want to get as much political power as possible. As much as possible. Oh, we can explore Vault 72. Ooh, Vault 70 survey. Let's see. So... The survey. Vault 70 was given three gex and used them to great effect, creating the Mormon nation of New Canaan. The vault is rife with valuable social data. Between the social experiment, the vault was tasked with to the cultural development afterwards. All this data, sadly, is on an aging mainframe located in the ruins of the vault itself. We can either re renovate the vault, most likely damaging the mainframe in the process, or we can turn the old vault into a cultural research center, hoping to secure or rescue as much data as possible from the falling mechanisms. We could rebuild it for a core, which I think, yeah, the vault 70 is... already named vault 70, 70 great. Uh, it has a population of almost 30,000. Trying to core that would take 300 political power. We lose 300 manpower. Could we make 300 manpower at, you know, by coring this right now? Lose a little bit of construction speed and get a security team. Or we get... Cult Holy crud. Oh, that's a lot of war support, not gonna lie. I want to test this. Can we get 300 manpower? So we have 3.28. We lost manpower. God dang it. Whatever. We did get a security team out of this. You know, how many men are in here? 125. Honestly, I don't even need these guys. I mean, they're only 10 combat with their, you know, they're veterans. Yeah, it's nice, but, uh, whatever. Yeah, I got almost my manpower back. Cool. Just light robots. Oh, actually, more than just light robots. Thank you. And then thank you. Good. Train, everyone. Train, train, train. What do we know about new Reno as well? Anything else interesting? I'm glad we got our manpower back by releasing the tar walkers. That's actually really good. Actually. Actually. I'm sure they'll try to rebel someday again. But can I request... Oh, god dang it. I can't. They're negative. Well, actually, how much manpower? They got 1,000? So that's 1,700. That's pretty good. No divisions, of course. None of that. That's fine. But why can't I ask for garrison support? Doesn't have enough manpower to give us. Well, I don't want all your manpower. Just, just a... I have a dockyard? Oh, well, okay. I don't want to waste, you know, manpower and ships. Hey, but at least we did our first vault. That's actually really cool. Can I grab some more planes? No, I cannot. Because we already have two sets of planes. Yeah, these are going to become very, very needed. We're going to go to war with New Reno, which I'm not going to do yet, because I want to get more army XP first. Definitely make a large stockpile of these guys. And look, dogs are becoming much better. Oh, we don't need near, nearly as many dogs to do that. That would be great. We're going to need a little bit more circuitry, which is fine. Our industry, let's build up some more infrastructure. Actually, that'd be very good. Vault City, how have I not improved Vault City yet for more resources? Or this area either. Mm, this stuff, oh, look at all this crud we got to repair. That's disgusting. Ooh, radar. Actually, radar in Carson City would probably be a good idea. Just because we could use it against the Desert Rangers, we could use it against some other people. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, clamp down on autonomy, master impact. I really would just want to core stuff. You guys are training, that's great. 0 0.056 a day is not great, but it, it is what it is. Basic power plants are awesome, happy 2280. We're doing that, that's great. Yeah, I do advanced recycling, that'd be good as well. Resource wise, ooh, we got a scrap from these people. We don't, need to, we don't need them to raise their autonomy too much. Uh, that's, you know, we'll trade for one more. That's fine. Basic drills, awesome. Let's grab Watts 2000. Nice, laser carbines. So I've covered the Oasis. I really want Wendover, which we probably need. Hold on. 327? 
I thought the cap was at 300 to core stuff. That doesn't make any sense. I thought the I thought the cap was at 300. Well, I guess I was wrong. 220. That doesn't make any sense. Is my intel wrong? My intel might be wrong. Who can't give me my goods? Western Brotherhood. Oh, come on, guys. Anyone else? Uh, New Reno. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, I probably need that. I don't want them... There we go. That's better. More divisions? All right, cool. Just train. Have a good time. Train, train, train. Investigate the rumors. That's okay. That's kind of an end game type of thing to do. Yeah, 327? It's honestly probably not even worth it, but I just want to lower resistance as much as possible. Uh, do some decryption. That'll be good. Mm, 4,000 manpower is pretty awesome. They don't have Thrads Legion yet. I'm just going to go ahead and do service for citizenship just so that we have the extra manpower when we need it. So, our greatest ability to call the common masses to arms is a promise of citizenship within the immaculate walls of Vault City. For them and their families in the... For them and their families in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Another security team. Oh, good. That's good. That's actually really good. Nice. Awesome. More ciphers. Well, we have Troll Warren done. We've got New Reno done, which is awesome. If we want to go to war with anyone else, I mean, it, it will end up... We will end up in a war against the Steel Rangers. Definitely New Vegas. Definitely the Brotherhood. Who is still trying to fight Khazar's Legion? New Vegas is fighting... Who... Please get out of this. Come on. Who are they? F oh, they're fighting the Brotherhood. Interesting. As well as Khazar's Legion is fighting the Brotherhood. Huh. So they're they're struggling down here a little bit. That's okay. Let them struggle. Our enemy struggling is a great thing. Now, I'm so, kind of surprised that the Troll Warren have not gone to war with these guys. I guess they didn't really need these two slots from the Shoshone Nation. Shoshone Nation. My bad. Uh... About to get paid soon. Awesome. Keep training. Keep training. Robo security. Oh. 20. Three dimensional printers. That's awesome. Grab some of this for mother monthly population. Yeah. How many we can throw on? One. This is going to be an ugly combat with. It's at 15. Yeah. 27 and a half. Really not an ideal template. Not going to lie. Really not ideal. We're trying to grind out as much army XP as possible right now. And I do want to get maintenance companies, because even though it lowers our armor, piercing, and stuff like that, it does give us a lot of reliability. 25% more? Nice. That's actually pretty good to get. Pretty good, pretty good. Ah, uh, sell outdated stuff. That'd be fine. Current expenses, kind of high, kind of high. Contact the boomers. Pre-war tools. That's way too ahead of time for me to do. That is a little bit ahead of time for me to do as well. And that's pretty good. Research speed is awesome. All right, cool, cool. You come over here, and then you come over there. Infrastructure-wise, we're still good. We're still pretty good. That's awesome. Radar is coming along. What else do we need? We're building up some of this stuff, which is okay. Uh, what do we need? More power stations, honestly, probably. Build it in here, Paradise Falls, or Paradise Valley. Build it over here as well. Great. That's a little bit ahead of time. How about more plane stuff? Defense? Definitely more ground attack. Definitely, definitely, definitely more ground attack. Ooh, cement and concrete. Nice. Very good. Get some robotic extraction. That'll definitely help us out. Throw you guys in here. That'd be great. Just train, train, train. We can throw on one more heavy robot team. 30 combat width. Really not ideal, but it is what it is. Wow, we need a lot of combat robots now. Oh my gosh, that's a ton. 30 by 5, that should be okay. We're going to need a lot more stuff, though. Sir, sir, service for citizenship. Let's do that. Airlines. Eh, stuff's not bad. I could join the Pact of Steel, or, you know... The Brotherhood of Steel group, but I don't know. We'll see about that. Group of population. Monthly population. Resource efficiency gain. I could do some of this stuff. It seems pretty okay to do, but... Let's just go ahead and finish off our focus sheet and let's do vault Tech Airlines. So an airstrip would be ideal for Vault City. Not only as a method of regulating the importance of those who get to enter, but as a method of exerting our dominance over our airspace. Double 40% bonus to our airlines. Great. And... Can you get this from it? Uh, no, I definitely don't want them. Oh, definitely you guys, though. 
And we, I will be building a lot more infrastructure here on out. So, circuitry is right there, right there. Anywhere else? Not here. That sucks. Uh, a little bit here. That's not too bad. Get more from there. And then grab some more from, of course, Area 6 and Area 51. Put you at the top, though. Yeah. There you go. Not bad. Make sure we have a massive army so that we can do okay against these guys. So I am a little concerned about that, not going to lie. Resistance Occupation, Jericho, which I think is like here? No, it is here. Wow, I got that right. Change that to this. That's the only one that needs it. Well, actually, no garrisons needed here. Nice. Very nice. How about compliance on the map? Pretty good in compliance for a lot of areas. Not bad. Actually, it's actually pretty good for a lot of areas. Uh, Sky Reavers are good. These guys are... Timekeepers, you're almost done. Digital decryption, great. Carbines, radar, decryption, encryption, all that good stuff. Nice. We need some more scrap metal, which we'll get from the... Oh my god, that's a lot from the Star Walkers. That's awesome. I'm going to assume they're going to rebel against me or raise their autonomy to the point where they're no longer my puppet someday. Whatever. Time to go on. You got another group. That's fine. Just train, 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 train. 0 0.056 a day. Not a lot, but whatever. It is what it is. So, Washington Brotherhood looks kind of big. We are kind of waiting for a war between the Washington Brotherhood and the Troll Warren, which would be great if they actually killed each other. So they're doing a continuous focus here. Weakness in the north. They need to fight the Brotherhood. That's really what they have to do first. The old road. Oh, they need the line from the Apostles. Oh, they might potentially go to war with the Brotherhood because they took a lot of territory from the Apostles. So that's interesting as well. You guys are doing awesome. Just don't hurt supply too much. Yeah, our combat robots need a lot of guys. we got a lot of manpower now. Wowzers. That's some wowzer wowzers. Wowzer trousers. Holy cow. Yeah, help out the settlements. That's still good to do. We get about 129 manpower a month. Who cannot give me my goods? Come on, man. Brotherhood. Brohood. A shining example. Great. Of the art of a nation building is usually a thickless one, but today is not the case. The people of Ruby Valley Refuge seem to have taken to the role subject wonderfully. Our officials are welcomed, our demands are met, and hearts and minds are being won to our cause. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Give me that right now. Yeah. Oh, that's, that was less than 300. Huh. That's cool. Nice. 10,000 manpower. That's really cool. That's really good. How much you need for this? 243, maybe? Automated harvesting. Awesome. Grab more construction because I need it. Oh, we almost have another one. Great. Just ramp up production of this as much as possible. Vault Tank Airlines. Awesome. Next up, Vault Tank. So by bypassing government lockouts have given us access to pre-war tank maintenance files. Great. Do that as fast as possible. Clamp down on autonomy. You know what, let's just do that anyways right now, because we don't want them to get too high, especially New Hammond or, you know, the Ruby Valley Refuge. They're still a puppet. Everyone else is a little different. You guys, we're making, we're making a lot of robots really quickly. So I'm not too worried about my production. We might want to slow down on this just a little bit so we can make sure that our divisions that we have have enough robots in them already, because right now our template it's only 33.4 armor that's really not a lot broken masks heaven's gate clear one high chapel can lost tres mascaras and their people be so easily easily beaten beaten sure yeah whatever oh we can throw out one, some more just for a tiny bit more armor not that much more armor yeah and 0.61 medical power that's okay 159 factories keep making a ton of stuff we need all the resources of resources that we can possibly get Let's see, what else can we do for operations? Now, we're doing resistance stuff down here, which is really good. How is that coming along? Since I'm, we're just kind of speeding along here. So, you're sporadic outpost. You're doing well. You're doing well. Ah, timekeeper's good. We don't have to garrison nearly as much now. Sporadic outposts. Look at that. Oh. Did I... What's going on here? Oh, Vault 24. You look very nice. Very nice. 2.8, 2.7 is going down. Thank you very much. Uh, offensive armaments. Let's get some more plane stuff. All aircraft agility and max speed. Very cool. You know what? Actually, since you guys are not doing much, uh, just just train. Like, just train, like, in general, so we get more our air XP. Even though it does eat up a lot of energy cells. Ooh. That's going to be another concern of mine. We're going to need a lot more energy cells. A lot more of this, too. 
good. And we'll build one more in... Ooh, Vault 24, yeah. Advanced circuitry, cool. 278, that's, that's quite a bit of time. Let's go with replicators. That's definitely better. Can I get any more energy? Yes. I didn't realize I was already trading away for it. Tar walkers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Since people are trading, it does take resources. So, robotic extraction, very good. Let's get some more energy cell capacity, which really won't help us that much right now. But that's just a lot of manpower. Nice, that's actually really awesome. Really, really awesome. At this point, it's probably cheaper for me, honestly, to just go ahead and release the antelope tribe as a puppet, declare war on them, and just, then just take them out, instead of just, you know, trying to lower their autonomy, and then trying to integrate them after that, you know, annex them like that. Lower their autonomy, use political power to annex them, and then integrate them, because that takes, sounds like it just takes forever to do. It just takes forever. Uh, you know, give us veteran training instructors, that'd be good. Vault tanks, very good. Let's do Vault Tech Power Armor. So deep within the computers, we have found obscured and incomplete blueprints for early models of Power Armor. These insights will surely allow us to unlock superior versions of such equipment. Absolutely. Uh, another LR, that's great. Come on, I gotta get more of that good stuff. And keep making more roads. Where? That's okay. Any more circuitry? Scrap metal will be fine. We got enough ways to trade for it. Vault 24. Do you not get any more resources? Hmm. Circuitry is so scarce. Holy cow. I mean, in time, I want... Oh, actually, it's right there, too. Bay away. That's not too bad. Just a lot of this all over the place. Digital encryption. That's good. That's good. You know, in time, we'll do that, too, because... We'll just need to do it anyways. New Hammond, that'd be fine. It doesn't really matter to me. Now let's finish this off a little bit more. Because I like building all the stuff up, any stuff up anyways. You should get more... Honestly, you should get more compliance if you build stuff in, like, appropriate, like, states and stuff. At least that makes sense to me. Cool. Tar walkers, you'll get a lot of this stuff too. So we'll never run out of stuff to build. Well, at least for a while. Good, 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 good. Do that. Help those guys out too if they need it, and then help these guys out too. Cool. Let's see, you guys. That's a little bit ahead of time for me. I've, I've not been doing this for a while. Let's get some more research on that. Happy 2281, though, my friends. Happy 2281. That manpower is looking so good right now. That's, oh my goodness. I did not believe I could get that much as Vault City. That's awesome. That's flipping awesome. Cool. See how the plane's doing. They're training. They're training. That's nice. That's good. And who wants to raise autonomy? Ruby Valley Refuge. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. I don't think they can raise their autonomy. And we're super close. Super close. We just need one more to make it 35 combo width, which really isn't ideal, but it is what it is. Actually, how many APCs do I have? How many APCs do I need for a single APC division? 200. Ooh, do I have enough fire teams? I do. Oh, boy. You know what? Uh, Security Chief Wallace, we've got a proposition for you. What if you want to become an APC division? There you go. We finally made our first... Oh, wow, look at that strength. Really low. Are we still mobilizing? Yeah, oh my god, we are. Jet engines, amazing. Jet attack airplanes, yes, please. Love me some jet attack airplanes. So good. Alright. Oh, we got five. Great. Now, we're going to go ahead and stop training as much, because it does take a lot of resources to do this so you guys stop you should be pretty much pros for the most part you guys can stop you guys can stop i'm gonna keep you guys training because since i just made you a little bit bigger you know let you guys train a little bit more as well for now try, try just try to save a little bit of energy cells that'd be important uh oh, gene crops are very good very good very good because once when new reno's down i feel pretty confident that we can take out all the rest of idaho all the rest of Utah. Maybe even the Troll Warren as well. Better radar? Good stuff. Even better radar after that. Anything else here? Not really. That's good. Because I do want to get to all these vaults. And I know I'm taking a while. And that's why I'm making this video a little longer than the previous videos. Just because we spend a little bit more time with this. And not have so many episodes in a campaign. Uh, what's going on here? How's this coming along? 
Rooting out resistance. Take a good look again. Looking really nice. There's really not too much resistance here anymore. There's a little bit, of course, but not too much. It's manageable. You guys, 95%. Awesome. Awesome. Look at that, 0%. I love it. I love the 80s. I love it. Oh, another big boy? Sure, sure, sure. Oh, you guys are looking pretty good. You know what? Go ahead and stop training since you do take a lot of energy cells. We get 815 a day. Not bad, but could be better. Air takes a little bit. Actually, and then we have, obviously have no navy, so it doesn't matter. Baltic power armor, great. And that's pretty much the focus tree. I could do a pact of steel, but I don't want to join the Brotherhood of Steel yet. So, I'm not going to do anything here. I want to get as much political power so we can core stuff. Might as well. Uh, you come down here, and then you come down here. And just in case, I'm going to put like a maybe a fallback line, or maybe beef up our side right here, just a little bit more. I know resource-wise... Uh, I mean, we want to expand our area here a little bit more. Expand our supply here, I should say. Look at that. That's nice. Keep building all this stuff up, guys. It's so important to build just things. Good things for your country. Uh, yeah, another station there. That'd be good. You guys, you're looking pretty okay. Go ahead and stop training, too. Just because we're going to save up our energy cells and then go to war with New Reno in the next episode. That's the plan. That is the plan. Could spend some political power here. Spy master. Does, I don't think our robots get any reconnaissance right now. We got a lot of spy. I probably should get logistic companies on these guys. Because if I can get logistic companies on these guys, I mean, they're probably going to get pierced anyways, no matter what I do. So, yeah, logistic companies sound like a pretty good idea. Free fighters, how much support equipment do we have? We have plenty enough support equipment. We need tons of robots, though. Holy smackerinos. Um, I'm not going to take anything off of that. That's fine. That's good. Engine overclocking. I love it. Infantry equipment. Logistic companies. Another division that... You know what? You guys, could, you guys could probably train, but supply is looking pretty darn bad around here. Ooh. You know what? Take you guys off then. Just come around here. That'd be fine. Don't hurt supply. That's a bad idea. And I will keep you guys training just because... I'm going to need 10 ar army XP, which, oh god, this doesn't give you any, really. Oh my goodness, supply is so bad. You know what? What if we do this? So you guys, all of you guys, are going to hang out in the back here. Alright, you can stop doing that, please. I want everyone to party in the back. Well, all of you guys make one solid front line. Now, this, this front line won't be probably strong enough to take out Nerino at all, but that's okay. That's totally okay. Whatever. Uh, you could do that, or we could get better doggos. Or better maintenance companies, but we're already using doggos, so we must as well do that. Cybernetic mutts. Great. You guys come over here, and then you guys, both of you, join them and train. You know what? Keep everyone training. That'd be fine. Until we're ready to go to war, which is probably the most important thing to do. Except investigate rumors. How, how's the war going between new... Uh, long 15 time. That's right. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, they got a lot of divisions over there that can probably pierce me, which I really do not like. So, here's what we're going to do. At least level 1 outposts on the entire front against... New Reno, because they're going to be able to pierce me. We can still do some pretty hefty damage, but it ain't going to be enough to really fight New Reno. Cool. Let's do this. Let's see. Gene crops. Oh, yeah. That looks pretty good. Cool. So, I'm going to end up through here, and then tomorrow we will be ready to go to war with New Reno and see whatever happens. So, guys, we can lower the autonomy of... Uh, it's only 50. We'll do that. So anyways, like I said, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow when we have one heck of a struggle between us and New Reno. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.